Hello, hola, and salam. Sit back, relax. Let your ears and eyes do the work. This is the Amir Speak at Sports Loveth podcast. Hello, world. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm excited. Give yourselves a round of applause for making it to April. April 2021. Those two weeks of quarantine back March 2020. Well, uh, that didn't happen. Kept getting extended, and here we are. Two championships later, one Champions League final loss later, but it's all good. Hope you like the beard. I'm rocking it today because I only got a few more days until Easter, and then I'm going to shave it off just like the good lord told me to but i really want to touch on a lot of topics today one being lafc's jersey launch did you order yours yet did i maybe okay i did guilty as charged i wanted it badly not only because it's a gold hue but it's like a off-white but it's just new and who doesn't like new things? I know I do. I love new things. I can't get enough of them. So they got me. I paid for it. I got them. It's on the way. It's actually going to be shipped out to my parents' pad because I'm going to go there for Easter. And I'm super excited for it. Hopefully, you're going to be able to spend time with your families. Hopefully, you're getting vaccinated. If not soon, or you've already done it. But just like Bob Barker said, neuter your cats and dogs as well. But first and foremost, let's get back in these stadiums, please, please, because I want to go to a game so bad. Now, I'm going to wait a little bit. You know, I do have kids now. I know, I know. Mila is 17 months. Mr. Cyrus, the newborn, what's up? I'm all, oh, shoot. I'm so happy for him, but he's three months. It's been quite a three-month little adventure with him and having two kids under two is no joke so if you have kids hopefully you're able to do stuff with them and love them as much as you can because they're only little ones then it's gone then they're teenagers then they hate you no i hope mine love me forever but i know what's gonna come to me it's gonna be dating it's gonna be buy me a car it's gonna be take me to more games dad look if you love it i'll take you if you don't Take you to the ballet, maybe. I don't know, but I know one thing is that sports, in-person sports, are on the way back. I'm so excited. I can't even, uh, oh, I can't imagine the next time I go to the first game back. It's going to be like a whole new experience. It's going to be socially distant, I hear. It's going to be limited capacity, which is kind of cool. You know, I, I won't have to worry about people bumping into me and spilling my drink, but... I will make this announcement. I am still sober, and I'm loving it. So if you see me, high-five me. Maybe buy me a hot dog. Buy me some nachos. Buy me some popcorn. Buy me a slice of pizza, but do not buy me a beer until I say so. And hopefully, I will say never. I'll say it never. So I'm excited. This is Amir Speaketh Sports Loveth. It took me two years to come up with that name, so I hope you like it too. Just kidding. Just kidding. But let's get to this jersey launch. What do you guys think? Please let us know in the comments. Do you love them? Do you like them? Also, Flex Power Tools, congrats. I'll give you a round of applause. Congrats on that. You beat out everybody and you got the bid. YouTube TV, sayonara. It was nice knowing you. But it's always going to be a little special place in my heart seeing that youtube tv logo because when we first started they were our sponsors they had our back they broadcasted us and i will forever be thankful for that but flex power tools from what i hear i believe they're a german company i should probably look that up but um it's kind of nice a lot of gold up in there so um congrats to them i will buy your product probably if you give me some like lafc edition style um power tools i don't know but as we know in soccer every year or at least every other year every season they always change sponsorships which is kind of cool because you already you see like a barcelona jersey you see a uh 
I don't know, Manchester United, whatever your Arsenal, whatever your favorite team is, you see the different uh, sponsorships on the on the team uh, jerseys, and then you say, oh, man, that was a good year. Or you always kind of recognize what season it was from. So it's pretty awesome. I do like it. And you know what? Change is constant. Change is imminent. If you don't like change, then you can't love life because it's, something is always going to change. And uh, that's what I've been learning since last year, since this whole virus came into play. I've changed a tremendous amount for the better, and I don't want to keep stopping. I want to keep going, and hopefully everything works out in my favor. And if it doesn't, well, I'm not even going to include that in a possibility. How's that? Let's stay positive. God damn. Woo. So today, let's take a look at these jerseys. Oh my gosh, jersey launch. I really want to get a custom one with my name on it. And it will happen sooner than later. But for now, I got to order it online just like the rest of us. All right, let's go to their LAFC store, lafcmobileshop.com. Oh man, I like the short sleeves. Got the new Los Angeles uh, writing on the sleeve pretty awesome we honestly need a third kit an all gold please you know thank you thank you so there the long sleeve looks sick i don't have personally a long sleeve one so i definitely want to cop that and um oh my lord long sleeve the only problem with the long sleeve is the replicas so it's not the authentic kind even though they're a little pricey but look at this we got a new sponsor postmates holla I'm personally an Uber Eats guy, but I might have to switch on over. So we also still have the Target logo. Um, the black one is pretty sick. I mean, still almost the same. Really wish we had the gold stripe on the side. I think Philadelphia Union took that. <sighs> Why, I don't know. But, man, this is pretty nice. I do enjoy it very much. The women's. They don't have a women's long sleeve for some, for some reason, but... Mm. I don't know. Someone write a strong letter. But there it is. Beautiful, beautiful. So hopefully you'll get your jersey soon. If not, then... Hopefully you'll get your jersey soon. It's always very special to have a new jersey. It's almost like Christmas. And I am excited for it. Also... Let's talk about some Laker action. LeBron, AD, eh, they're out. Ah, ah, no me gusta, no me gusta. We've been on a quite a slide there, but at least we won a few. I mean, the Cavs, they are still the Cavs, so whatever. But it looks like we have tomorrow, we got the Kings on a, April 2nd. Then we got April 4th. Ooh, we got the... Yes, Lakers versus Clippers, you going down, son. Uh, Lakers, Raptors, Tuesday, April 6th, April 8th, Lakers and Heat, finals rematch, April 10th, Lakers and Nets, so down, then April 12th, Lakers and Knicks. So, of course, we're missing our two best players, so we already know we're not at our strength, but it's always good to get the young guys some minutes, the newbies some minutes, hopefully Kuzma steps it up a little bit more. I really like the Andre Drummond signing that we got the other day. He hurt his toe yesterday versus the Bucks. That was quite sad. But, you know, he's a solid player. He's a very good big man. And I'm super excited. Welcome to L.A., Andre Drummond. Oh, you know, I saw an old tweet he used to have, 2014. He said he hopes to one day play with LeBron. Well, dream has come true, my friend. Even though he's injured, he will be back. And we better be ready for these playoffs. So it'll be nice to see the Lakers and Clippers. That's going to be a great game and a rematch. Lakers and Heat. I'm going to go ahead and say we might lose them both. But like any good sports fan, I'm going to hope for the best. And say I'm going to pray to baby Jesus first and foremost. And hopefully we'll come out with a win. That will be exciting. I don't know. I heard AD is going to come back maybe in two weeks or so. So we'll see about that. But uh, LeBron, high ankle sprain. I don't know if you guys ever hurt your ankle, but that shit hurts. That hurts so much. So, you know, take your time, LeBron. Come back stronger than ever. 
and we will be all right. So April 17th kicks off LAFC season starting season opener. And it's versus the new franchise, LAFC versus Austin. Austin, Austin. Everybody's moving there. Everybody and their mama. But you know what? Sayonara. For all the people that have moved out of Los Angeles, it was nice knowing you. But for the people that were born and raised, like your boy over here, I ain't going nowhere. Are you kidding me? It, I'm, I saw those floods in Houston, and I was like, wow, that doesn't happen too often over here. And I pray for everyone. I hope everyone's okay over there, 1,000%. But Austin is the new hot spot in the country. I hear a lot of comedians are going over there. A lot of Silicon Valley's traveling over there. A lot of younger people are going there. I mean, the only good thing I would say, kudos to you, Texas, is the no-income tax part of it. I'm very jealous of that. But, I mean, come on. We got Santa Monica Beach. We got Redondo Beach. We got Malibu Beach. How can you beat that? You're just only 20, 30, maybe an hour away if you live anywhere in L.A. County. So the life is good here, and I was born and raised, so I always meet people that moved here from out of town. Maybe they're trying to become an actor, singer, or just, you know, wanted uh, a change of environment, and they love it. There's always something good for L.A. peoples to do. Whatever you want. You want to go to a museum? Go on over. We got tons. You want to go to the beach? Go ahead. You want to go ride your bike? Go for it. We have the beach. We got all those things. And it's it, it rains rarely, so you can do those things. You want to go, um, you know, you want to see some snow? Drive on over to Big Bear. It's snowing, baby. Go snowboarding. What do I care? I ain't going because it's too damn cold. But if you live anywhere in Los Angeles County, hopefully you're grateful for all the great things that we have. Yeah, we got a lot of problems. Who doesn't? But. The positives definitely outweigh the negatives. And that's just my opinion. And if you don't like it, go fuck yourself. Kidding. Kidding. If you don't like it, it's all right. We ain't got to agree on everything. But one thing we do have to agree on is Los Angeles sports is on top of the world. UCLA made the final four. Congrats to you, good sirs. We're coming off a championship of the Dodgers. Oh, so excited for that season to start. It's actually coming up in a few days. And we're going to make another run for the Lakers. I think we might do a double-double. Ooh. Oh, that's another thing. We got in and out over here. What's up? So I'm excited for this uh, podcast, Amir Speaketh, Sports Loveth. You can go ahead and check us out. We're going to be on – we're already on Spotify. We're about to be on Apple Podcasts. And, of course, you can check this vlogcast out right here on YouTube. Welcome, MaboobTube TV. This is MaboobTube TV Studios. And it's going to be a fun little ride. Now, we'll be doing weekly segments, uh, weekly episodes. We'll get some great guests in here. I'm looking forward to that. We'll also just do some one-on-one -on -one like we're doing now. Let me share my thoughts of what's going on in my life. But it's all going to be sports-related. So if you don't like it, well, there's 20 million other podcasts you could turn to. But I hope you do enjoy it. And that's the whole point. I want to entertain. I want to inform. I want us to ride this life together. So, you know, it's been a complicated three months. Uh, we did have our baby boy, Cyrus. Oh, in the uh, end of December. And I've been on quite a little adventure with him. He uh, had a surgery to fix something in his stomach. Uh, oh, shoot, I don't know the name of it right off the top of my head. I don't know why. Uh, Pylorus stenosis. There we go. And um, he had to have surgery at like a month old. I was so scared. But you know what? For every negative, there's a positive. And it just made me that more thankful that he was able to pull through, heal real fast. And now he's doing a lot better. He's growing. He's gaining weight. He's become a little chubster. And I love him more than ever. So I'm very happy about that. Another is Miss Mila. She's running and walking. And, oh, my God, she's doing everything now. So it's insane having two toddlers under two. I uh, would say try to space them out, but I will regret nothing. And I really enjoy my time with my kids here. 
and I'm so thankful to have them in my life. And, you know, I got them some jerseys. I got them some sports gear. And I do watch sports a lot. And even if we got to have Coco Melon on the main TV, I got my iPad, my laptop, something or a different TV with sports in the corner. And I'm keeping up to date. Or, you know what? To be honest, my favorite, even though, well, maybe it's up there. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it does do the job. Record the game. Put them to sleep. Go downstairs. Go in your bed, wherever. Watch the game. Fast forward through commercials. That's probably my favorite part. Fast forward through the commercials. But do not check social media. Do not DM me. Do not update that ESPN app because you will find out the score and you will be so disappointed if you're watching it later at night and you know the score. You're just going to fast forward it. But it's a lovely game and um, you should just, yeah, DVR it, record it on whatever you can and watch it later. That way you can have patience. You can yell a little bit louder. But uh, it's it's been a great time around here, really. And I'm just ha- so happy to be back in the studio, being able to do what I love. And that's uh, sharing my passion of sports with you. So we will be doing weekly stuff. I will have an announcement very soon on our first guest. It's in the works. And um, I'm just so happy to be back here. I'm really, really happy that LAFC is coming back. They're definitely a very, very important part of my life. And they bring me a lot of joy. And I'm happy that sports are back in general just with no fans. But you know what? Just if you don't have a good TV, go buy a new one. Because it's so important right now. And hopefully very soon, sometime this year, people will either have COVID and will rarely catch it again. Or they'll get vaccinated and everything will soon, soon, soon be coming back to normal. And I just can't wait. I just can't wait. Definitely I'm still going to wear my mask. And definitely going to be doing fist bumps for a while. But, oof. This is exciting times. I really feel like the Lakers are going to win a back-to-back championship. It's like it's in our DNA. We always do that, right? Right? woo So, you know, we're going to go ahead and um, I'll be doing another one next week and be on the lookout for that. If you can, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I got a few great products I'm reviewing right now that I think you'll love. And uh, definitely follow us on Spotify Podcast. And if you'd like, follow my Instagram, at AmirGoes24. And that's where I'll be doing most of my daily vlogs on my story and posting great informative stuff for you, the sports fan. That's the point of this. So I love you. And we're going to go ahead and play the outro. Thanks for joining us. And this is Amir Speaketh, the sports loveth. We want to keep it short and simple today. But we will be back soon. I love you. Hope you love me, and maybe I'll shave my face next time. Or maybe not. Peace. Thanks for listening to the Amir Speaketh Sports Loveth podcast. See you soon. Maybe.